water, earth, fire, air. Once upon a time, the four elements lived together in harmony, but then humanity tried to destroy the earth. Only the students from the minor sustainability could save them. A group of four students consisting of Kuhn, Jeffrey, Quintijn and Merel accepted the task of an innovation project. The idea was to support the United Nations sustainability goals by coming up with an innovative idea using water. And so, this amazing team started thinking. In total, we came up with six amazing ideas. First, we thought about nuclear fusion, then about crop modification of the pineapple, then about a sustainable village, or perhaps a channel through Africa. Then we considered an energy platform, and lastly, a thermal expansion steam generator. And after careful consideration, the choice fell on the Sahara Channel Project. But where would we put such a channel? We didn't know, so we started our research. Several locations in the Sahara Desert were examined and a choice was made between the Tunisian-Algerian Channel, the Moroccan-Algerian Channel and the Qatara Depression Channel in Egypt, which proved to be the best considering altitude and as you can see in the image, the close position to the Mediterranean Sea. This is how the Katara Depression looks like on Google Maps. But this is actually the sad reality. So how do we get enough water in this low-lying area? Well, a tunnel in combination with a channel will be a perfect solution. An inland reservoir and prior to the tunnel will provide the possibility to regulate the water flow and maintain the tunnel. A lot of questions arose. How? What? Will there even be enough water? Won't the water be too salt? How will life underwater develop? And how will life above water develop? Will it even work? A calculation was made that a tunnel with a diameter of 11 meters could sustain a water inflow of 682 cubic meters per second, which would compensate for the high evaporation rate. The high evaporation rates unfortunately induced the accumulation of salt in the Katara depression. So in order to reduce the amount of salt flowing in the depression, we took a better look at nature and found out that mangroves were able to extrude salt through their glands. By manufacturing a membrane including this transporter, a lot of salt can be extracted from the water flow. Therefore, it is a great example of biomimicry. The moment the flooding starts, the vast area will change in a desert river. At first, an aquatic ecosystem will form, giving opportunities for sea life to develop. River plants, fish, algae will form the first small ecosystem, thereby larger organisms will secretive follow. The aquatic ecosystem will cause the development of terrestrial ecosystems. The terrestrial ecosystem will consist of vegetation that is able to resist the drought and high temperatures. Animals and other species will consecutive appear to the upcoming vegetation. So here you can see the systemic design we made for this project. As you can see the channel which we called Inland Sea in the picture. So here you can see the systemic design we made for this project. As you can see, the channel, which we called Inland Sea in the picture, can support a lot of different systems. First of all, the channel creates a lot of job opportunities. Inhabitants can work in the agriculture, aquaculture, fishing or salt production. Furthermore, a lot of products can be created which can be used for food, medicines, biofuel, etc. Also, the channel will result in a more livable climate for the community. By creating new job opportunities, the poverty in the entire region can be brought down to a minimum. By creating new fertile grounds and fresh water, more than enough food can be grown to provide for the local population and stop the hunger in the region. By bringing development projects to these now remote places of the world, the quality of life will improve in the whole area, allowing healthcare and quality education to take hold. This, in turn, can lead to gender equality and reduced inequality in wages. 
The appearance of new resources will bring new businesses to the area. With them, innovations can be made to provide clean drinking water. The water also provides opportunities for clean energy. These new resources can be consumed both locally and internationally. This whole project will help store CO2 and combat climate change. The Katara Depression will turn into a new water landscape, allowing countless of species to evolve below the water. This new water-rich area can become a large resting place for birds on migration, for amphibious creatures that thrive in barren landscapes, and for the nearby desert creatures that rely on scarce bodies of water. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>